Hey, y esa niña no se aguanta. Quiere todo porque tú sí sabe aguanta. Who do we have here? Who do we have here and who do we have here? Is my mic good? Yeah, I think so. Put your headphones on. I don't want to scare my baby. I'm dead. I gotta be real gentle with her. So she doesn't like to get off the hand when she's on. Elvis. Oh my gosh. Now she's on my hand. I was trying to push her off and now she's on my hand. We're here. We have Elvis. Elvis, how am I going to have a drink now if you're on my hand? Elvis is the baby. <gasps> is he losing hairs on his foot? Imagine oh, they were never attached. <laughs> <laughs> it just She just stepped They're on stuck. poop and then on... <laughs> and they got stuck. Don't say that. There, you're fine, Elvis. Relax. Is it Elvis cute? You're good, Elvis. Elvis is the only chicken with the fur boots. <laughs> boots with the fur. The whole club was looking at her hand. We don't know yet. I'm pretty sure I it's her. I think it's her because the legs are small, huh? Mm-hmm. They're pretty small. Plus a, plus a girl chicken named Elvis is hilarious. <laughs> they said, hola, ladies and hero, and my tia's back there, too. Hi. We woke up pretty early today. We did. And we have, I have product of Colombia here because Latina's drinking. She's going to get on a train, planes and automobiles. <laughs> so she feels she might as well drink. So I'm mm. like, you know what? After the day we had yesterday, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead as well. This is take a little sip of sip. international seal I'm, I'm unsealing. Plus, most of y'all are going to watch this on Tuesday night, which means it's fine. It's five <laughs> o'clock somewhere. Technically. <laughs> mm. Is that duty free? Duty free, man. You know who's not duty free? Elvis. Elvis be dutying know. everywhere. I get my Why uh, Elvis uh, for a girl? Well, it's just the leg hairs. It's just Elvis made sense. What? Because El Elvis has leg hairs? I assume so. The, spot, the hair, I think the hair that was where it shouldn't be, like over mm -hmm. here on the sides. Uh, Yo, Elvis is looking for her speaking parents. feathers. Oh. oh. Wow, you're so talented, Elvis. I told you she was a star. What did I say? <laughs> so talented. She's, She's looking for my tia. Si, tiene pelios. Va a ser bien bougie. Elvis pooped right when we cheers. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, hold on. Okay, maybe let's poop. My baby yeah. the oh my gosh. Literally right when we cheers, Elvis pooped. Okay, goodbye, Elvis. Oh my gosh. Oof. I'm going to cheer by myself. Bye, have a great time. <laughs> oh man, the chickens. Well, they're not chickens, right? <clears throat> Is a rooster still called the chicken? The poultry. <laughs> yeah. Pollitos. Right now they're pollitos. Right now we don't know. We don't know who's a chicken, who's a rooster. We're thinking that there's two roosters based on the research that we researched, which is that roosters have bigger feet. So in the chickens, the roosters, the boys are the thick ones. Yeah, wait. Yeah. You're going to be able to hear all the dishes in the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it says uh, a rooster is a male chicken only, while a chicken refers to a bird of either gender. So, wow. Okay, cheers now. Dang, oh. so what are chicken? Female chickens, they just take the name of both? Huh. Wow, mm -hmm. messed up. Oh, because we didn't cheers with him? With you? Oh. Oh, is no, that? No, oh, no. I'm oh. just saying messed up that chicken, oh. female chickens don't have their own name. Like, roosters is a male chicken, but chicken refers to... Male or female chicken. Oh, what? maybe they're hen. <gasps> oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hens. I forgot about that. Mm. And you have laying hens, that and then you smart. have, like, meat chickens. Mm. The ones you're going to... But I got those on these farm. No. No, you had to keep acting up, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of them One of them was up on the barbecue yesterday, and I was like, yeah, oh. Yeah, they were by the fountain. All of like, them oh, were. You guys want to get cooked. Oh. Wow. Ooh. I wouldn't do it. Rooster is a guy, female chicken is a hen. Yeah, there we go. Hens are the ones who lay eggs. That's what we have. We have laying hens around here. How often do you guys pick the eggs? Every day, right? Yeah, every day. Every day. Those can't have babies, though, because they're not fertilized, right? Yeah. That's why baby, That's why Ido, I was going to call him Baby Drew. That's why Ido didn't want us to get little baby chicks because he doesn't want roosters because he doesn't want them to fertilize the chickens. However, technically... If you pick up the eggs every day, they don't, they won't be, they won't have a baby chicken. What makes a baby chicken is them laying on top of the egg for a while. 
So yeah. if you weren't to pick the egg, it could still grow an egg? No, not without a rooster. You okay. need a rooster for it to have the possibility, but it won't even do it if the chicken doesn't sit on it. So they do have to smash and then they have... Yeah, the rooster stomps on the chicken. Stomps? Yeah. Pull, pull up a video of whatever. <laughs> it's because oh, I, I thought they were always fighting, bro. <laughs> Literally, I thought it was. I thought they were fighting. The first time I ever saw that, I told my tia, I was like, tia, tia, the, the rooster's fighting her. And she started just cracking up. <laughs> and I was like, what? I, I was like, why are you laughing? I need to see this, please. Uh, rooster. <laughs> Should I look up sitting on chicken? No, <laughs> stomping. Amazing. Stomping? Or That's stepping. what she said. Stomp the yard. <laughs> that's what happened yesterday when i was watching those two hawks all of a sudden they like kind of got like attached and i was thinking i was like are they fighting or are they and also there's a video on my tiktok where remember i don't know if you saw it, when i when i saw those two crows on the on the tree and i was talking shit to them and then i was like oh they're fighting and then it wasn't until <laughs> comadre came that comadre told me that there's two these two eagles that attach and then they drop to the floor and then right before they drop they let go and that's how they know they're soulmates so I was like, what if that's what the crows were doing? Because they fucking started fighting. And I thought they're fighting. And little do I know, I'm watching a fucking crow burn. So <laughs> yeah, I looked up stomping. Oh, but stop. No, that, that stomping led to like fighting, fighting ones. But this is mating. Okay, well, it wasn't that long when I saw it. <laughs> He's balancing on her back. Dang, that's crazy. He also has a privacy He's curtain. Yanking the fucking hair. He also has a privacy curtain. Oh, my God. Where? Oh, when wing. he lifted his wing. <laughs> okay, I didn't see it take that long. Relax. This is okay. They're making love. Because <laughs> uh. when I saw it, it was just like, and then they just left. Hey, yo. Okay, see, they're, yeah, they're all. So that's what's going to be going on on the ranch, huh? No, preferably not. We're going to keep what? them as separate as possible here and there. Elvis. Elvis better not be. Elvis doing another. could procreate. I feel like, no. Elvis will have the cutest babies. That's Little crazy. Elvises. Elvi. Elvi, <laughs> <laughs> Elvi. Elvis. Elvis. It's like how they say if someone's mean to you, they like you. No, that's not true. That's actually very much not true. <laughs> that's problematic. <laughs> that's depressing. <laughs> I think that's what made... Um, that's what made toxic relationships nowadays, right? I feel like back in the day, what, like the 1900s, everybody's been saying that forever. Boys will be boys. And if they're mean to you, they like you. And it's like, now we have a bunch of fucked up, traumatized people on TikTok, trauma dumping. <laughs> We're all that's fucked really, up. <laughs> that was terrible that they told us that way. If he's being mean to you, he's play, he likes you. That's fucked up. Mm. What, kind of, what kind of adults did we have? <laughs> that's terrible. Our adults sucked. That is terrible. Name the rooster Priscilla. Priscilla, that's a terrible name for Elvis. Why Priscilla? Oh, that's the daughter of Elvis, or oh, that makes sense. Aww. Oh, well, Santa, you're cute. so smart. Yeah, that's cute. Now, you said that's a red flag, my friend. That is a red flag. We were talking about that yesterday with my tia. We first we started <clears throat> breakfast, very very nice conversation, and it turned into trauma. <laughs> right they went into the whole story about my grandma yeah, and I started, wow, there was a lot there was a lot to unpack there bro my tia started talking about her mom and her her dad and then it was like their parents and then we were like whoa like it was crazy you know my great grandma my my amazon you didn't really get to meet her but i did she was a bitch anyway um she <laughs> when she was young she was she was a fucking bitch bro like literally like my amazon which by the way they called her chona which is hilarious. La Chona? That song was not made for her, but maybe it was because she was that much of a bitch. It was heard around the world. Um, just kidding. <laughs> but she really was because I feel bad for my great grandpa, man. You heard the story of how he yeah. ended up being blind. So he ended up being blind and then there would be a rope around the house that they would like, he would grab onto to kind of get around the house, right? Eventually, at some point, he ended up in a wheelchair. And you know what my grandma, my great grandma did because she was taking advantage that her man can't see? She was cheating on him. She was doing things behind his back that he can't see, but he couldn't see even if it was going on in front of his front. That's so mean. <laughs> Fucked up. She's a bitch. That's so mean. And that's the thing that people think that we forget, right? Because I think we would hear these stories when we were little, and then my my parents and my my tia, my, tia, my like everybody would think that I forget, but I remember. So when I see my grandpa, who is mean to my grandma, I don't say hi to him. I'm like, I don't say hi to that man. Fuck that man. He made my grandma's life miserable till she died. 
Okay, if my family hears me say fuck that man, what are they going to do? What's he going to do? Yeah. Fight me? No. Tell him. Maybe he will. He likes to beat <laughs> women. But I'm not a woman, so I'll beat you like a man. <laughs> no, I'm just Tell joking. Him, no, I mean, so, you know. Hit him with the sparkling water. <laughs> <laughs> hit him with the sparkling water. <laughs> no, but for real, bro, if you hear our stories of like our great, our grandparents and our great grandparents, we're like, you guys were living some fucking crazy stuff, man. With no TikTok to talk about. <laughs> didn't need that. You had no social <laughs> media to vent, bro. You were just, just out here taking it. But then also they didn't believe in no fucking therapy or mental health. They just, they were like, oh, I just... Well, that, that's how the story started, right? When my tia said that my grandma was getting beat and she went to my great grandma to tell her like, hey, you know, take me in. And she was like, well, you chose that. You got married. You got to live with that. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That that's was the advice people would give you in those days. I would never do that to my child ever. I don't know. That's crazy. And we have sons, right? So mm -hmm. with our sons, like women can be abusive, too. Mm -hmm. So if your son comes home and is like, yo, like she's hitting me we're you know we're gonna first like be like i mean it, it is is that more is that is that much east on my end and you can check me if it is that i am gonna be like you are a guy what are you what are you doing <laughs> 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 that's fucked up that's problematic i'm gonna get canceled but i think it's because when like for example if we're raising respectable boys so like for example if it does happen to them they probably wouldn't react they probably wouldn't like yeah they would rather not and that's hopefully the way that they would yeah, but my son in that Ooh. mouth, sometimes I'm like, baby, baby. Why are you saying that? <laughs> like, don't say that. <laughs> so that's my, that's a, uh, what's it called? Um, rule number one or whatever, like checklist number one. I got to teach my son to stop saying <laughs> certain <things>. shit. <laughs> like, no, but still hitting is never, is never okay from mm. a man to a woman, from a woman to a woman, from a man to a man, whatever. There's no reason that you can't use your words. And I think with parenting nowadays, because I've heard you say like, use your words or like different mm -hmm. people. I think teaching our kids to talk is so important mm -hmm. like because like talk like talk it out or say your feelings share your feelings or whatever because it's like at what point is the only possible reaction throwing something at your face mm -hmm. that's terrible that's very terrible that's like that's not you're not you're really dis you're, that's very disrespectful there's actually there's a george lopez episode where angie was <laughs> like when you hit somebody in the face you're hitting their um their identity oh so it's kind of like that's like the worst place to hit somebody it's like in their face oh they're hitting your identity that's so sad yeah it's fucked up angie had a point fucking angie mm -hmm. the grandma slapped um the boy in the face and then angie was like no you slapped him in his identity and it's true because like if you hit somebody like it's still not wrong if you hit somebody in the body, but like hitting in the face, I feel like you mean it's still wrong. You yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are I saying? It's still not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it's still wrong. <clears throat> God damn it, man. Yeah, communication. Like we're too old. By the time you're old enough to get into a relationship, you're old enough to fucking communicate. And if you mm -hmm. can't get like, you don't need to be in a relationship. You need to be alone for a while and figure that shit out. Mm -hmm. Do you hear how raspy my voice is? I had a blast yesterday. I had so much fun swimming all day. That Me pool too. was amazing. We were swimming. We were freaking on the slip and slide. We were we were yelling and screaming. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Um, the only thing we're missing is a slide. We need to find pool. a way. Yes, we need to find a way. To and the that. fact that and the fact that everything goes from up down into the pool. I just also need people to sign waivers because <laughs> because if we build the slide ourselves, stop. <laughs> From up down into the pool, what? Like up where the where the where the where the grapes are. <coughs> oh, down. Cause it's it gets real. The only thing is, I say is it's real slippery. Yeah, it's gotta we're be not real careful. We're not. Um. Oh yeah, the sumo. Well, the sumo was a day before, but um, yeah, we're not we're not very smart at building things like that. So we might build the slide that you slide off and you skip the pool and you land on the fucking cement. Luckily, we realized that our freaking slide thing calculations were way off. Yeah, we were like, we we're like, this is fine, and then we looked at it. We we're like, this might not be this fine. This is not gonna work. We'll just slide over here. It would if we people were saying about the sumo suit mats. If the sumo suit mats were by the pool and we slid on the slip and slide on top of the sumo suit mats, that would work. However, the sumo suit mats might get moldy if they mm -hmm. get wet. So we were like, that's not going to work. Mm -mm. But. And we just cleaned them. Right. So. <laughs> I know I didn't scrub for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we were <really> like. <laughs> By the way, yeah. How long ago? How long ago did I buy those sumo suits? 
Oh yeah, and Yayo fell yesterday too. Poor guy. Oh, is he <laughs> okay? Where did he fall? I don't know. On the Next pool. The pool. <laughs> he was he was going through some things. <laughs> We heard Yayo when Yayo started vent, like freely venting without anyone asking him. We were like, okay, we Yayo has drank, <laughs> <laughs> and then he just um. falls. We're like, all oh, right, and then he's like, oh, I'll be right back, and then he just never came back. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, good. Look, this is we need to figure this out. But we stayed in the pool a little extra time because we were both trying to figure out the calculations of how we were gonna get warm because the pool was getting colder. It was. There was. I was like, it's getting cold. <laughs> we had told Yayo we were like, turn on the heater because he he was like, oh well, it got warm enough. Like it's cool. But as the sun started going down and he turned off the heater, then the water started getting cold. Mm-hmm. So then Latina's like, and I'm cold. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, are we gonna get you? And then Amazing. we didn't have no towels. So then we're like, we we're had gonna to run. We're like, we're gonna have to run up stairs and she's like the towels are in your room she showers in my son's room so we're like so you we're gonna have to run up there run through the ac grab the towels and then split up go into two different bathrooms and shower problem is i didn't know when she went into baby drew's bathroom apparently he had his door locked and he was well, in his she, bathroom was, yeah she was really showering. She, he was showering so very <laughs> bad timing because then she ended up just being fucking cold i was in my bathroom but my shower flooded which i need to figure out what's going on with that what the heck? My shower flooded. Dang. So I was like, bruh. Fix the heat and the flooding. No, whoa, the heat. The, <laughs> okay, so no, because before you were here, my my boiler wasn't working. But we found out why. It was because there's a power Could outage you, thing. You have it on the top of this degree. But now it's back and it's boiling. No, yeah. for those days, my water was cold. There was no hot. Dang. But now So you get no in between, I huh? Think it's, you get no in between. It's because of a little earthquake or whatever. Like, there's a device over there by the gas <clears> thing <throat> that, I don't know, it detects an earthquake and then it shuts off the gas mm. to try to stop, you know, bad things. But That's cool. So, yeah, that happened twice, I guess. That's interesting. I wonder who thought of that. That's fucking smart because if yeah. every earthquake, all kinds of boilers were going off, people would just be exploding. So, yeah. that, it's good to have those precautionary measures. The fact that somebody thought about that smart ass. Not a smart ass, but like you're a smart ass, you know. That's where all the that's where all the fucking resources should be going, stuff like that, instead of all the stupid shit the government be doing. It's like, yeah, invent more cool things that whenever there's earthquakes or anything mm-hmm. crazy or like fires. Like, you know how we're in a high fire zone or whatever. Like I get it, but sometimes you're staring at the helicopters like, Come on, helicopter, because the time that there was that fire close by, they kept on throwing all the water and sometimes they would miss. I'd be like, Bro, <laughs> like we do not have this type of time right now. <laughs> I'm like watching the fire, I'm like getting ready. I'm like, should I be packing my stuff? Because I'm looking at this fire pretty close. Fucking helicopters over here throwing the fucking water ten feet off. I'm like, bro. I'm like, I'm about to go over there with the water hose. And we have good Get water pressure. washer. We have good power <laughs> good uh pressure here, like with water. I don't know. I don't know what. Apparently, because he thought he was going to make a nursery or something. I'm surprised you, you don't have a well. <gasps> oh, I thought a whale. I was like, no, a whale. Like, you think really highly of me. <laughs> the fact she's that she's, got, like, she's got the whole shit here. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have a whale. <laughs> <laughs> it should be in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> like yesterday when I was like, I think I could do that. You're like, you can. I'm like, now you're setting me up for failure because I will. <laughs> No, no, I no, need no. some doubt because I know, I know, like for example, when you try to go in the shallow end and you try to dive, I was like, no, we gotta go over here. But when it's reasonable, absolutely, yes, you can. I can absolutely. dive in the shallow end. I know That's how to do this though. like a whale. That's dangerous. I do this like a dolphin. But it's dangerous. It's not like I dive in head first. I know that I'm supposed to. It's not like mm-hmm. I grew up in a rich pool. Like I grew up in a in a very shallow, <laughs> tiny little pool. The so, apartment complex. Pool. Yeah. <laughs> The apartment complex pool was not at all what you're supposed to be diving. That's why all the pools said no diving, but I was like, I got this. And I would dive like a damn. There was, back in the day, there was like this public pool that we used to go to and it had a diving board that was mad high. I think it was maybe like 10 feet high. Mm. And I would jump off of it. But fuck, when I tell you that would give you the meanest wedgie once you went in that fucking water. I'm dead. <laughs> But in yes. Mexico, we there would be like nobody has a pool where my mom's from. It's such a t- small town, but there's like the pool that the public pool that everybody goes to and brings their fucking tortas de frijoles and shit. And there's like four pools, and they had one of those shits, and it was so high. And I remember I'd just be up there like, were you nervous? <laughs> yes, fuck yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Was I, mean, I nervous? I'm I'm not scared of heights, but I'm I'm scared to jump off of things like that high. Would you ever go skydiving? Yeah, that's scary. I've always wanted to, and like, like I've every partner I've been with has been like, no, I guess because they think that I'm gonna be the the one lucky one that just, you know, 
But right now, you know, single life got to have its benefits. I'm just, just going to jump off a plane. <laughs> I'm like, well, well, the answer. Well, I heard it's very... You just got to be careful. You make sure you have a backup parachute. I heard it makes you, like, I don't know, like, when, when I was really sad, at some point, I remember I went with Baby Drew to, like, roller coasters, and I just kept going through the roller coasters because it was, it was the only time it was making me feel, like, not sad. The so general. maybe that's what it feels like. It's like, jump off a plane, and then when then you'll realize, like shit you might that's, feel that's a crazy liberated feeling. yeah you know? like fix your trauma with worse trauma that is controlled <laughs> stop <laughs> it's traumatic when we remember that's around the time when i was going through to a lot of uh haunted houses <laughs> i mean what was it no i'm um, not haunted houses um what are those things what escape rooms oh okay. scary escape rooms mm. i was like traumatize me <laughs> i just been scared in my life yeah you can't be you can't be sad or whatever if you think you're about to die. Yeah. Adrenaline junkie. That's what I'm going to become. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You do like adrenaline. I do. Mm-hmm. Adrenaline is cool. It's like, it definitely is a drug. Because it's like, I, and I know I got a good adrenaline adrenaline thingy Adren- because, <laughs> because when I was about to get hurt, they were like, your face got red as fuck. And I was like, that's all the adrenaline. Like, I feel like my body is like, you're not going to feel this bitch, but... I'd be tricking my body. <gasps> what if it's like the boy called Crawl, Cried Wolf? And like, I keep testing my adrenaline and then when I really need it, it's like, we're tired. <laughs> oh, don't <yeah>. do that. <laughs> you run out of adrenaline? Can you run out of adrenaline? I don't think so. I feel so, like that's impossible. Google that. Makes it, so. Your body has to cr- like create more. It's like a factory. But how much can you have a day? Not too much. You might have a heart attack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> chill out. <laughs> Yeah, it releases endorphins. Yeah, the adrenaline. So first you get adrenaline, and then after you get a high. Nice. I don't know if it's... Yeah, it says it's very unusual to suffer from too little adrenaline. Um, But... I don't know. Maybe. I mean, that that seems I mean, when people get scared to death, doesn't that mean it's because their adrenaline was like, you know... Yeah. Because that happens. Wait, uh, your adrenal glands is where adrenaline comes from? I mean, I know they sound the same, but really? Yeah, if, <laughs> it says even if you lo- have lost both adrenal glands through disease or surgery, since 90% of the body's ad- noradrenaline comes from the nervous system. I don't know. So it's your nervous system? Yeah, like you, you probably still will be able to make some somehow. I don't know. I wonder if you can make some just sitting down, like focus really hard. Oh, like it on command make yeah. the adrenaline. <laughs> like. Yeah. I wonder if music ever makes that. They said ASMR with Latinas, Tajin. <laughs> <laughs> Tajina. Music can do that because if you think about it, when we're watching movies, if there's like a scene that's like a little bit wild, the music kind of is what gets us like, oh my God, what the fuck is going to happen? You yeah. know what I mean? It sets the scene. Oh yeah. That's what I always think about when... Um, I get uh, when when I'm watching a scary movie and it's scary to kind of not get scared. I think about like, what would this situation be like if without the music and without the coloring? And so you're not trying to flipped on a light. dive into the movie, though. You're like trying to prevent yourself from feeling scared. Well, if I get too scared. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not trying to be scared. <laughs> but that's like, OK, because because we always talk about how like, well, I always mention how um I cry in every movie, like cartoons, like rom- romantic comedies, all that shit. But if I was about to cry in a movie and then I'm like, that's just an actor. He's just a paid actor. He's not really crying. Like, dude, I'm ruining the whole thing. You're supposed to like dive into mm-hmm. the movie. You're supposed to feel the whole mm-hmm. thing. Me, when I'm watching <laughs> scary movies, I'm like, ooh, this is real scary. Yeah. I'm like. I mean, but that's different. You watch sad movies to to be sad. and I don't watch sad movies to I, be sad. I like rom-coms because they always end up together. I would hate to watch a rom-com where they one of them dies. I'm like, <gasps> broke. Oh, sorry. I was going <laughs> to ruin the movie for y'all. Brokeback <laughs> Mountain? I mean, at this point. Yeah, at this point, if you haven't tri- seen Brokeback Mountain, you suck. Trigger warning. What is it? Uh, spoiler alert. Mm-hmm. How's it end? Because I'm not going to watch that. 
<laughs> well, I, when my homeboy hit me up and he was like, have you seen this music video? And it was about gay people because he's straight. So he just, everything gay, he just sends it to me. He's, he's like, like, you ever gay. seen this? <laughs> right. He's like, you ever seen this? I'm like, I think you're more gay than I am. I'm like, what the, how did that fucking pop up on my shit? But um, anyway, oh um, he sent it to me. He's like, he's real sad at the end. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them dies. I know. Have you ever seen Brokeback Mountain? Also, how come always like gay stories? That's how they end. Oh, one of them didn't fucking realize that the other one was their soulmate. And then one of them dies. And then that's it. Like, damn, bitch. We never get to be happy where's the happy gay story where like they live happily ever after it's always some dramatic thing where like one of them was too scared to come out and then when the other one finally came out uh, or when he finally was ready the other one died and he lived <laughs> with that regret forever like oh, what depressing. that's so fucking depressing i feel like I mean, gay stories are so fucking sad gay is literally means happy so uh, yeah why do they why do they do that because straight people have it out for us probably right straight people want to ruin gays lives because they're like, why are you so happy doing that? That's weird. <laughs> you know, you should like, be depressed. <laughs> right. You should, you should feel bad that you're doing that because you're not like us. And it's like, it's like, you know, whenever, whenever somebody like might have bullied you for something and then it became your nickname and then you became cool for it. And then people are just like, no, you should be miserable. And it's like, I turned it into a positive. What's your fault? Like, what are you, what are you upset about? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like that's what it'd be like. Iron, I don't know. Somebody said irony. Endorphins are what makes you feel euphoric. It's created in your pituitary gland. You know what's crazy? It's I was telling you. No, well, that tumor that I tell you guys I take medicine for is in my pituitary gland. And I always wonder, I mean, I know it affects me, obviously. It affects my hormones. It affects several things about my life if I don't take my medicine. However, that's also where people who have a tumor in their pituitary gland have been giants. Did you know that? What? Look Yao it up. Ming or something? Dude. Does that mean you're gonna grow? I'm I'm wondering why I didn't have the type that made me a giant. Oh, so you're not gonna grow. It's already what done. is up with you you're traumatizing me right now? <laughs> you're like you're gonna shrink. <laughs> <coughs> well no, you said that it makes people giants, so I was assuming that you're saying that you might grow. No, I'm just saying some people were, became giants yeah. because of it. Gigantism <laughs> is a serious condition that is nearly always caused by an adenema or a tumor in the pituitary gland. I can't read. <laughs> Gigantism occurs in patients who have had excessive growth hormone in childhood. The pituitary tumor cells secrete too much growth hormone, leading to many changes in the body. Dang. Isn't that crazy? You could have been giant. I could have been a giant, but instead I just have fucking imbalances. That sucks. <laughs> God's like, you want to be a giant or you want to not have a period on command? I'm like... <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> I mean, choices. That really is a, <laughs> right. Choices. I'm like, damn. Oh my gosh. That is a big man. <laughs> or a short man. You are the short man. Bruh, attack. <laughs> <laughs> We're the same height. <laughs> um, right. So why are you calling me a short man? Because we were talking about giants. We're the short men. <laughs> no, yeah. So that's, to me, that was always fucking weird oh and interesting. 8 11. Eight three, eight five. The baby chickens eight, are going nine. crazy back there. <laughs> John the Rogan, giant. seven foot four. But who's the tallest in the whole world? Eight nine, or eight eleven? Probably eight eleven, but tallest person. I yeah. look at Robert. Robert. I'm sorry, yeah. Jesse. Jesse said, damn, I didn't know that. I'm having testing done to see if my cyst or tumor in my pituitary gland. I was diagnosed with autoimmune cyst, uh, disorder, and they are trying to figure out why. I'm sorry to hear that, Jesse. Um, and yeah, that was since I was 15, and it's never, it's just never going to go away. I guess that's one of those things that is like, sometimes whenever people are just like, oh, big pharma and all that shit, it's like, yeah, I get it, big pharma. But also, like, there, some of us are just going to live forever taking medicine. Like, that's also just what it is, like at some point I thought I kind of got depressed about it I'm like am I really fucking depressed at least there's a solution and it's something like somewhat you know not so bad big of a deal um but I watched a video last night actually in the middle of being kind of sad and depressed um that was so it's like did you see it you saw it or baby Drew walked up to me and he was like I saw that video of that guy that said in a couple of weeks he's gonna no longer be here in his physical form oh yeah pull was, it up that shit was it's sad but it puts so much perspective and he's like go do whatever the fuck you want to do and it's like damn that is so fucking true you know i did not see that one where'd you, you see, it? see it because i was going wild posted it right yeah i think so um 
but I saw it on TikTok first, but it was a different video. So I don't know what he said on that one. Yeah, Lulu, it's that you said a small tumor in your pituitary gland can cause infertility. That's what they thought about me. And look at baby Drew. He's out here playing basketball. <laughs> Living his best life. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> no, that's, um, yeah. But it's not, in, well, in me at least, it wasn't infertility. As long as I take my medicine, I mean, I guess technically it can happen at any moment. But, you know, that's, that's, that is one of those things that you hear. And then it's like, you might never have a kid. Or if you do, it's going to be difficult. And then so when I was pregnant, I was like, oh shoot like i'm meant to be a mom so that's to me i thought it was miraculous and it was amazing and you know it, it you know you never know so i think being a parent is the best thing that happened to me you valid right very valid i feel like the people we were prior i think if we had met with no kids well i mean obviously because of the age difference <laughs> we shouldn't have been hanging out but um had we if we were the same Color age <laughs> <laughs> if we were the same age and we met i think we could both agree we was walling yeah i think that's I mean, the biggest I was, thing if I'm, I'm being honest i wasn't walling too much but i was like a little bit i was more scared back then i barely some of the decisions of you made that got you the kid you was walling okay yeah let's take a shot to that um hold on <laughs> You need to get a cup or something, man, because that's reminding me too much of the guy from uh, Jingle All The Way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Myron. By the way, yes, guys, this isn't a flask or anything. This is Aguardiente from Colombia. So, yes, I guess I should get a cup. And honestly, no, that's enough Aguardiente for now because it is sweet. So hmm. it, you, you forget what it's doing. But okay. Look, y'all, I told y'all, man, like, I'm going to keep updating y'all, but I wanted to come on here and say one thing, man. Live this life for everything it's worth. Go after everything you want. Man, an immigrant who came here with $20 has all of this behind me, has this beautiful house. It is possible. Milk this life for everything it's worth, guys. I am 34 years old, and in the next few weeks, I will no longer be here in the physical form. And there are so many things I still wish I did. There are certain regrets that I have that I do not pursue. Do not, do not live with that. Whatever dream you want in life, chase that shit till you can't chase it anymore. And if people think you're selfish, if people don't understand your grind, if people look down on it, so what? Because at the end of the day, the people that will be there every day, the people that are visiting me every day at my house are the people that no matter what I did, unless it was hurting me, they supported me. Whatever business, whatever venture I wanted to get into, they supported me. And they're the ones there when I'm dying. So I say that to say, do what you want. The real ones in your life will always support. But it's your life. Live it the fuck up man so look. that is so sad i know and it's sad because yeah so i went to his instagram and i was like looking and it is it is so sad because there was videos you know where he was like okay like let's fight this like let's try so to watch somebody just be like yo bro it's just not gonna happen like let me at least leave y'all with like positive words and shit it's like that's dope because he didn't have to he could also just sit there and be miserable and be sad and be whatever but he chose to use his voice and and his particular predicament to be like yo take it from someone who's gonna not be here anymore this is what it is you know it's like fuck bro that's sad. sad um prayers to him and um thank you you know because even like like i was saying like i saw it last night as i was like really kind of down on myself about something and i was just like true like while we still here we should do as much as we can and be happy and try to look at everything on the bright side you know and and chase our fucking dreams bro mm -hmm. whatever the fuck it is is there a like I mean, you said when you found YouTube, like when you realized that you were on YouTube and you like you could do that, like you've been able to pour all your creative, all your everything into that and like be happy when you're doing that. Cause like, that's so cool. You can literally turn yourself into anything. You could use mm -hmm. makeup to become whatever the fuck you want that day. That's so cool. It's a creative and a therapy outlet and money outlet. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's the dream, right? Mm -hmm. Like to be able to like find a job that you don't, that you doesn't feel like you're working. 
that was the dream no that's what they always said yeah to find a job that doesn't feel like it's work yeah even though you know it still is work it is like we the other day when somebody was like said that that um you know when you're doing what you like it's not work it's like well it still is work because the problem is for example especially for us that we like to just be creative and do whatever is like there's gonna be those days you don't want to do it Mm -hmm. there's gonna be those days that you have to do it because you know that they're waiting on you they're counting on Mm -hmm. you there's some people that also count on you to entertain them so like there's days that you have to show up that's how you know it is your job and you do take it seriously because if you only do it when you're happy if you only do it when you're feeling okay if you only do it sometimes like those people are like damn do you, i mean do you care about us too like you know yeah. so it's like of course take your breaks take your mental breaks do whatever you need to do but it does become somewhat of a job like a real job it is it, it, it always is. reminds me of um like when i don't know like when uh, you get a treadmill at first or you get on or you first got on a treadmill it's like fun it's like woo <laughs> and then it's like now nah, it's like not fun yeah because <laughs> it's like I think it's good days and bad days. Like, for example, like you said, there's days where, like, you just be having a shitty day. You don't want to do anything. And then you're like, okay, why? I need to do something. Yeah. And just sit here and not do anything. Yeah. Yeah. And I think think that exchange, right? Like, who was it? Obviously, Jamie, because she knows what big words are. But she's told me about that, like, the type of relationship that people have where, like, someone's the famous one and then everybody else is, like, watching them. And it just kind of goes one one way and i'm like like it doesn't really just go one way it goes both ways because there's days that i can't even fucking get out my bed and i know that if i go live and i talk to people and they're talking to me and we we're doing that like sometimes that's like a fucking Mm -hmm. energy boost that you can't even get anywhere else because it's Mm -hmm. like damn like now next thing you know i'm at the grocery store i'm doing this i'm doing that i'm doing errands and it was all because i actually talked to people who like i would consider you know even though yeah we're not like you know we're not friends we don't hang out every day but like i consider them friends like a lot of times i've the things that y'all hear from us or we talk about a event or we go through with y'all like we don't even talk to like some of our family about mm-hmm. right yeah. like there's a there, i feel like there's a lot because i don't i i like to vent to my people a lot maybe too much right isn't that what it feels <laughs> like i think that's a new that's a mm-hmm. new problem for a lot of us is like maybe we we saying too much mm-hmm. but at the same time this hasn't existed that long you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like in hip hop, like where people would be like, oh, people, people are only supposed to rap until, you know, a certain age and then they're supposed to retire. But like now that hip hop's 50 years old, there's people, 50 Cent just went out there and sold out on fucking stadiums and shit or fucking whatever arenas or whatever the fuck he was stay, selling out when people who are currently popping on the radio are canceling tours because they can't sell them out. You still watching people who for a while people were like that person's washed up. But there's a new wave where people are realizing, like, actually, people don't actually have to leave. Like, this is just what it is. Because hip hop was so young, people didn't know the rules of it. But now it's like, no, bro, you could make music forever. Like, Mm -hmm. look how many classical artists or, you know, look at Luis Miguel. He's literally on tour, bro. Motherfucker's like, I don't know how old. I was going to make a joke, but mommy's going to be mad at me. I don't know how old (laughs) Luis Miguel is, but. (laughs) Let's see. Fucking, I'll be sad if I never see. um, um, 53. Dolly Parton. I want to see Dolly Parton. And how old is she? You know Dolly Parton? Didn't we? Yes. Didn't we lose um, Betty White already? We did. Oh, so Dolly sad. Parton's 77. So I want to see her on in concert. Didn't like, we lose who? Betty White. Oh, yeah. We 99. also lost our chicken, Betty White, bro. <laughs> um, One of the original chickens I got, her name was Betty White. And, <sighs> rest in peace, man. And Bob Barker. 99 also. Yeah. Did you see the joke that the people were making about that? No. They, they were like, he was so close to 100 without going over. Like how you have to oh, bet for, for the... That's a, that's a well-intentioned joke. Yeah. <laughs> but Willie Nelson, 90? Wow. I mean, I guess he seems like he's been 90 for like 40 years. <laughs> yeah. But also people are just so obsessed with like... Rock stars dying young. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like people only celebrate, like, oh, that person, like, they were so cool because they died young, right? But it's like, at the end of the day, like, yeah, obviously that's, that's, that's traumatic and that's something that, like, it's like, so they're, they'll forever be that age. But people forget that, like, if they've kept living and they're continue to be rock stars, like that's it. Like Maria Felix, that's one of the reasons that I'm one of the like biggest fans of Maria Felix. Cause she lived an entire complete long ass 
legendary ass, dope ass fucking life, and she was a bad bitch forever. Like Maria Feliz, I heard she died the birth on her birthday. Yeah, complete. I don't know. If it's- I, I mean, let me see. Yeah, April eighth, nineteen fourteen, until April eighth, night. Like a bad bitch, bro. That's so dope. Like, you come in on your own terms. You live your whole life. She said, I never struggled. She said, the reason I'm not salty is because I've never struggled. I have gotten everything very easy. Like, I've been able... She's like, struggle is for, like, lame bitches. I've been able to do everything I wanted and live every however I wanted. And then to die on your birthday and be like, and I'm out. Full circle. I was <laughs> like, bro, she's so badass. Pull Dang, me up some fucking quotes. And she's from Los Angeles. Her middle name. What? Oh, Maria de los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Felix. Dude. So badass, bro. Wait. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say you speak. Yeah, you do speak Spanish. Mm-hmm. Pull me up some motherfucking Maria Felix. You know who else is fucking hilarious? Ma- Nurka Marcos. What the fuck? You ever seen Nurka Marcos? Yes. Hilarious. The bitch. Like, what? She's like um, Jocelyn Hernandez. Oh, <laughs> them two bitches. Like you, I can I would love to hear a podcast of them two just talking. Wait, does Nurka Marcos speak English? Yeah, right. Does Jocelyn oh, Hernandez speak Spanish? Oh, that would that would actually be. I hilarious. think Jocelyn does speak Spanish. Does she? I feel like she does. Something tells me she does. Because does she have like an accent in English? Yeah. So I feel like she speaks another language. Dang, this I'm video ain't loading. Uh, wait, who? Oh, the- you said it was an amazing show. I was so close. I smelled leather off her outfit. I thought it was in my head till my friend with me smelled it too. I mean, good leather smells good. Like, if you went to watch um, Dolly Parton, I don't know who you were talking about, but I'm assuming. Dolly probably smells like gray and like everything smells expensive. Whenever you've seen somebody's leather outfit and you really smell the, le- the leather, bitch, they got money. <laughs> Or they bought that shit. Or they or they got class and they bought that shit. Even if they bought it secondhand, you still know good leather when you smell it. So that's lit. What? I don't know if this is... I don't know what she's talking about, but... Es un éxito mexicano. ¿Y cómo quieren que yo me sienta? ¿Eh? Me imagino que muy contenta, Porque María. China no soy, soy mexicana, ¿o qué soy? ¿Eh? China poblana, ¿no? <laughs> China poblana. <laughs> She didn't like him. Pues es una muy bonita fiesta. He shit. Mm. No, play, gracias, play. gracias, gracias a los acá. mexicanos, gracias a Televisa porque nos da esto y porque a todos los mexicanos fuera de nuestro país van a poderse divertir y van a poder ver, cos- ver cosas lindas usted con sabe, este esfuerzo. Usted sabe que, que el señor Azcárraga nos ha dado instrucciones de que ahora transmitamos ya también de países latinoamericanos, que no solamente traigamos México, sino que traigamos también a los países que añoran y de los cuales sienten nostalgia tantos hispanos que viven aquí. ¿Qué pues, opina de eso, María? Pues todos los éxitos hispanos son nuestros. Así como los, Wait, but, uh, eh, como los brasileños. Where's the part where she fucking, she does the little smell my shampoo? Um, Yo, como... Probably just find like quotes from Maria Felix or like iconic moments or something. Because you found the entire, first of all, I've seen the most iconic moment of that, but I've never seen that whole entire interview as much as I just did right now. Yeah, she was fucking funny. She was crazy. Um, not crazy, but like dope. And uh, yeah, that's why that was one of my first tattoos. Look at her. And Baby Drew don't even know her, but Baby Drew's like, I, that one of his favorite tattoos is this one. And I'd be telling him about Maria Felix and he's like, yeah, that's cool. I I'm was like, mad facts. curious of what the hell this was. I thought there were piercings on your rose, but I realized there were water chops. Yeah, he did a good job, right? Yeah, it was just a little slow. Boo Boo did that. No, he was so proud when he did it. I remember. He was so proud of the little droplets. Would you try to remove this one? What? No, that just, that healed like shit. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) My bad. (laughs) No, you're fine. Look, you see how these little things right here? That's when they heal bad. Like, I have a finger tattoo that disappeared. I noticed you can kind of feel like the the lines sometimes in your skin yeah some, sometimes they raise up I'm assuming mm. it's the poison in the ink or something alright <laughs> <laughs> sometimes yeah like sometimes the my whole like this whole owl all the lines will just like lift up let me see I thought it was crazy not right now right now those are bug bites <laughs> no. <laughs> those are mosquito bites but no um, I remember the first time so after Boo Boo passed away I, I didn't go get tatted for like a long time and the first time I went to go get tatted by somebody else my fucking tattoo raised up and I was like <gasps> I was like, obviously, it could have just been an allergic reaction or whatever, but my tattoo that he did raised up, and I was like, Did you do something wrong? Like, Boo-boo, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> but yeah. Anyway. He was watching over you because it healed. 
I know. I love Boo Boo, man. R.I.P. Cheers. Espérame. This fucking tahin. You're getting me addicted to tahin. And I like like tahin, but I forgot about tahin a little bit. He said sometimes mm. it reacts to the to the heat. It could be the heat. Sometimes I don't know. Sometimes it's just it just randomly happens. Whatever. Um, I, I don't I don't know. I don't pay much attention to it. I just figured maybe it's something I shouldn't know. Because like I said, um, there was poison in um, certain inks um, in America. My tattoo artist was telling me he's like, you know, some of these inks are not even allowed in other countries, like especially not Europe, like. America don't be giving a fuck And I'm like True That's why food tastes different In other countries too I'm getting pissed off Because they're clearly Cracking down on Red 40 And in most Mexican snacks Are gonna be <laughs> They're gonna change But Red 40 what Is just a color They can't make That's a like f- the flavor I is believe it? so I don't think It's just a color is What the fuck color? is Red 40 Yeah, I thought it was All just I a know color is that They're toning down The fucking hot Cheetos And I fucking hate it The extreme hot Cheetos Aren't even fucking extreme anymore it's bullshit. Maybe it was a health concern too, though, because look at that super hot Cheeto or hot hot Ex- chip. Yeah, but that's different. That's a fuck. That's ridiculous, bro. When I fucking um, when my son tried to eat one of those, remember it was on TikTok, and like everybody's like, yeah, yeah, he should eat it, he should eat it. I remember that I was like, I w- I literally ended up like cutting it into a little crumb and giving him a tiniest little fucking crumb, and then people were like, no more, and I'm like, bro, I'm not about to like mm-hmm. expose my son to no super spicy shit. Because he's excited, obviously he's a kid, and everybody on the chat just wants to fucking like. I was like, nah, dog, like that's that is enough. dangerous. And then to see a fourteen-year-old pass away from it, it made me like, yeah, I knew it was. That's not healthy. Like I wouldn't mm-hmm. be able to eat a super spicy chip. I'll go to the hospital. I can never do hot ones. Mm-mm. Like, like it, yeah. Red forty is just coloring. See, so why can't they color it for something else? Are they just making them less spicy because they? Don't want it to hurt our stomachs. Maybe they don't want to spend so much money on the spice. I'm not going to buy them no more. Or maybe you just built up a tolerance. I don't think so because I don't eat them as much. Like, I literally would, I will eat them like every blue moon. I don't eat them every day. So when I grab a bag of extreme hot Cheetos and they don't taste fucking extreme, it's kind of depressing. Yeah. I wish they would mix extreme hot Cheetos with puff hot Cheetos. That would be some bomb ass shit right there. Extreme hot puff Cheetos. Yes. Oh my god. Somebody needs to tell. No, me. because then they'll stick in your teeth. I feel like I feel like the puffy That's what ones the stick puffs in do. your yeah. Okay, so now imagine it's super spicy. You're using the tip of your tongue to take out the the super spicy puff that's stuck. And I now enjoy your, that. The, your tip of your tongue's gonna fall off. I like the feeling of the like it just burning. In, it's not You're that a bad. masochist. Actually, <laughs> you are. That? People who like to like get feel pain <laughs> interesting <laughs> can I get a shot glass <laughs> um, flavor is not Channing what? what did you see this that that uh, what, the video What's this that? that people say you were looking you look like this oh shit <laughs> character from uh, I'm fucking dead what are you doing there <laughs> What the fuck? Ariana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cartoon. Dude, I've always wanted to be a cartoon. Dead. Look at me. Oh, titties. Oh, is- <laughs> oh. Hey, what's going on with the movie? Right. <laughs> okay, okay, so that's what's under the t-shirt, huh? <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at me over there. That was during my <laughs> my chunkier stage. Stop. Look at that button. Hey. <laughs> Don't do yourself okay, like Okay, girl. <laughs> we like that. That's going to be me when I retire rap. I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm going to just everything. eat. I'm going to just eat. What the fuck else do I want to do, bro? The biggest thing, dude, literally, I used to have a partner that would say, well, you're lucky you get to do what you, your dream, live your dream uh, and do and get paid off of it. Not all of us are so lucky. We have to do this and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, my dream is to eat whatever the fuck I want, watch TV and not gain weight. That's my dream. The fact that I make music and I go out here and I do all this. Yes, I love it. That's my, you know, but like my ultimate dream watch every single series ever eat junk food and never gain weight and still just live normal That'd be amazing what oh, I uh, that can you imagine tacos cinnabon nachos you just eat eat and not regret it eat eat eat, eat. <laughs> <laughs> crazy great and that's the thing people also need to understand that like 
you know we all look at each other's lives like that's dope I, y'all, yeah. y'all know my y'all know my whole thing about people who have a nine to five and shower and go home and have the rest of the evening to themselves that's amazing you have a time off my brain never shuts off her brain never shuts off i thought my brain never shuts off you don't sleep Mm-mm. you heard it here first guys internet what the fuck uh, how what? are you up you're super that's a superpower that you need to explore it's mental illness <laughs> <laughs> i think mental illness is has some superpower vibes to it like adhd has a superpower you know i feel like it all comes with its perks remember how we were saying like not to be medicated because then you lose your sparkle that's our sparkle yeah not a lot of people got that sparkle true so you don't sleep how much do you sleep um maybe like four hours five hours (laughs) 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 Uh, Mm. that's crazy but i mean yeah some people don't need sleep to function right? yeah like drew there yeah drew i was telling her that drew's dad only needed four hours of sleep like he can literally party all night sleep four hours and be fresh as a cucumber and go to work i mean he was in a bad mood all the time but that's that. <laughs> i don't think like, that was the sleep <laughs> oh my that wasn't the sleep <laughs> um but um yeah like some people don't they have that gene it's like a genetic mutation thing which go which also there was a lot of times and I'll, I'll admit this about myself so you know how like i drink on stage right and then like i'll be drinking or whatever blah, blah blah and i was always thinking like you know people are like you put your body through so much and i'm like yeah but ozzy osbourne's still alive and he put his body through a lot and he's doing he's, great mm-hmm. <laughs> well he's like, doing yeah. he's alive no little did i know look it up there was apparently a study done on ozzy osbourne that he has certain mutations in his body because he was even saying like i should be dead like how am i still alive and like well the, all the things he's done and apparently it's specific that he has mutations so he produces on crack is what i'm hearing yeah he's like he's my this? father he's a fucking mutant he's my father yeah dehydrate which breaks down alcohol alcohol dehydro adh4 damn i have adhd he has adh4 bro that's that new version (laughs) makes protein called alcohol oh Oh, it's right here which breaks down alcohol it's a mutation bro so it's like here i am like i should be fine ozzy osbourne put himself through way more shit and he's alive and i'm little do i know he's a fucking teenage mutant ninja turtle (laughs) (laughs) i'm over here like damn (laughs) Now I'm thinking like I should have took it easy, not not thinking too much because clearly I got that water thing right here. I'm like let's not think too much, let's not overthink. Let's not uh, let's not say. <laughs> nah, but I will say I have never put myself through as much shit as Ozzy Osbourne. He ate a bat. Oh, all right, buddy. He ate a bat, and maybe that's where he got it from. Yeah, here's the gene. I was like, what is that guy? When I first saw that scene, I'm like, what's going on with Ozzy? (laughs) (laughs) That you don't need to sleep or you need little sleep. Are you going to read it? (laughs) You're just giving us reading. Bro, there's no like a TikTok we can see or something. Where's the highlight? (laughs) Where's the highlight? Hold on. We're literally Danny DeVito and Matilda. We're like, there's nothing you can get from a book that you can't get from a television (laughs) faster. (laughs) Literally. I'm like, hold on. We don't need I, to read usually all that. like on google it has like the highlighted part where it's the most important part yeah like somebody done read this for us why <laughs> why are we having to read this mm-hmm. live on the internet <laughs> i can't stand people on tiktok yesterday i seen somebody post a, a slideshow of like a serious thing that went down and like she was explaining what went down you know what the fucking top comment was hmm. oh i'm so sorry you went through that but i'm not reading all that i was like you're a <laughs> dick bro you're a fucking Straight dick up. yeah we're just dicks yeah, people on the internet be walling. Yeah, I mean, here's a video. Yeah, I'm definitely a visual learner. I cannot. Like, I can I read it and I can comprehend, but it's like, why? It's 2023. All the shit, all the shitty shit I have to go through because it's 2023, and you can't give me the good parts, which is somebody already read this shit on TikTok. Somebody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. <laughs> well, well, no. if, they, that's us. they might want to just thank their genes for this. Okay, UCSF researchers has, have discovered now a second short sleep gene. They found the first one about a decade ago. People that have it average only six and a quarter hours of sleep, but they feel fully rested. 
most of us need at least eight hours, mm -hmm. at least. Exactly. Researchers say the better they understand the genetics behind sleep, the more they are learning about issues that impact it, like insomnia. I remember uh, reading Work schedules. A, yeah, <laughs> for sure. I okay, remember reading not the, one of the not the stupid witty jokes. <laughs> Okay, so let, so we're going to be the ones who put this on the internet <laughs> and make the new concise mm. version on TikTok. Mm. Yes. Because what? Gene called ADRB1. And the other one was DEC2. That's how I found that. Yeah. So there's genes, bro. There's genes. In those genes. No. In those genes. <laughs> There's some people who only need four hours of sleep. There's some people who only need 6.5 hours of sleep. There's some people who break down alcohol better than other people. So there'd be people that'd be like, oh, I couldn't be drinking that and still standing or whatever. And it's like, well, that person apparently is related to Ozzy Osbourne or the bat that Ozzy Osbourne ate. One of the two. However, I also think a lot of those people do cocaine. So <laughs> I don't know. That's another thing about me. I'm like, okay, he did a lot of drugs. I didn't do the drugs he does and i've never tried cocaine so that means that whenever i drink i knock the fuck out whereas everybody else be drinking and then they go round two round three round four because they you know do their little whatever go to the bathroom and they're like se me quito, se me quito. but the cool thing about that is you know i go to sleep when i'm supposed to i knock the fuck out some people don't so i gotta be kind of healthy plus all the chick all the all the salad i eat on tour I wonder if you can get tested for those genes, though, you know? <gasps> That'd be cool. Let's get tested for what, see what kind of mutations we got going on. We're going to go get yeah. tested. They're going to be like, uh, you have it's one month to live. Right. I'm like, oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> no. not, I'm like, that is not the outcome I was looking for. You're all excited. Like, I'm excited to be a mutant. <laughs> They're like, actually, genes, actually, the end of the road for you. You're going to die in seven days. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's fucked up, bro. Eight What's really fucked four. up is this. I don't even think this is wood. <laughs> <laughs> We're knocking for no reason. No, but they're giving so many kids gastritis and ulcers. Oh, shit. Well, Red 40 or something? So it's genetic algebra. With Red 40? It's all about the balance. You know? I think it's, yeah. I've thought about doing 23 and Me, but then I'm like, what if it does tell me that I'm, like, European? I I'll, I'll be like... I need to shut the fuck up. Like, you know what? Maybe that's what I need. Could, I mean, at the end of the day, you can still speak against whatever you are. It doesn't matter. Like, yeah, if you're European, doesn't change anything with the history. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I but, back. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, like I wouldn't want to do it. I'm, I'm scared. What if you're 23 and me and it does turn out your dad is not a mermaid, but is in fact a white man? <laughs> 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 I'm terrified. I don't want to do it. I like to pretend anybody could be my like, you know Tapatio's my dad, Mermaid's my dad. Yeah. Um there's a lot of people who are my dad. George Lopez is my dad. Pitbull is also my dad. <laughs> you called Yayo your dad yesterday, so I was just like, you know <laughs> <laughs> Maria just, you know. Which is you know, and I have <laughs> the fact Miguel is literally on the ranch right now building something and I, and I adopted him as my dad without him knowing. It wasn't until <laughs> a night everybody was drunk. And I was like, You know you're my dad and he's like By what? The way. <laughs> I was like, What the fuck? But if my dad's name's Miguel and his name's Miguel and he has a his sons have a grupo um named Los Hijos de Miguel and I was like, I'm about to be the lead singer. <laughs> like that is a whole Selena story all over again. But You're not my dad. <laughs> No, we're the opposite. We're like, you're my dad. You're my dad. <laughs> we, have, we have daddy issues. Everybody's our dad. <laughs> the only thing that saves me from the daddy issues is that my mommy issues are so bad that we can't even get to the daddy issues. It's just mom. And plus, I had a dad. Right? <laughs> you didn't have a dad. <laughs> you needed a dad in your most important time. <laughs> me, I had a dad. But you had a mom. And I also had a mom, but... Slightly. Not your mom. <laughs> we have different moms and she's the same lady I'm fucking dead we should have different versions <laughs> he has like mom 2.0 and I have mom when she wasn't ready to have a kid yet y'all yeah, seen we're that picture of that kid in Walmart that was bending back like that that was me that was me as well you and Ido are the only siblings right that are my mom and my dad's kids yes my dad has three kids in Mexico with some other girl okay so then you're, the, you're obviously the oldest yeah mm -hmm. the first one always gets put to the fucking ringer bro no my mom has videos and she thinks they're like cute family videos and i'm watching how she was like putting me like doing all that shit and i'm just like 
Girl. Girl, you were not ready. Like, you should have took me to Mexico, and your mom should have helped you with this whole process right here. And But you know what? As a, you know, we've all been first-time moms, and I understand, but I also feel like you snap into motherly stuff, like, I don't know, naturally? Yeah, you do. Before I, I had like baby, I feel like I was like, um, I don't even know if I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I was scared to change his diaper. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do it wrong. I don't know if like, I was just, it was, it was a lot. But then once he was there, I was like. Ew, you know, know that exactly first, that do. first diaper change? Yeah, that shit's tar. It's weird. Yeah, it's all black. Why is it black? Mm -hmm. The baby's first poop is black and it's, it's like, jet, like, it's like a weird it's texture. It's not a poop. It's, it's, it's like, it's like they just got opened out the seal and like some like excess, like plastics, like black plastic came out. And then it's like. And then he's like starting. He's like, all right. Mm -hmm. We're here. We're here. <laughs> the clog is unclogged and we're ready to go. We're active. <laughs> but it's really weird. Yeah, I got scared. During the first 24 hours of life, the newborn will pass meconium. This is thick black stool. It comprises of amniotic fluid, bile, meconium? and mucus. So it's basically shit from all of our stuff in the, our stomach. Yeah, the mucus. Meconium. Or that the baby ingested while in the womb, and then once they start that getting like milk, something they would different. make something out Wait, of. That sounds like something. That sounds like something doctors would study to be like. I wonder what we can do with this meconium and what it, what it's like solves. It's like <laughs> they're fighting for it at Wakanda. Yeah. Isn't that what the, what the doctor from Back to the Future was looking for? <laughs> <laughs> Plutonium. <laughs> they're like, if you put that with this, you, you know, time travel, and it's like, no, leave my baby's first poop alone. <laughs> But that is, I mean, that is how they found a lot of things. Because if you think about it, how many things, for example, I mean, well, I guess weed it makes a lot of sense. At some point, did they light it all on fire? As no, a pilot, like, as a professional fuck, pilot. Who figured it out? No, I, I wonder that shit all the time. Who the fuck figured it out? Who figured out that they could roll it up, smoke it up? Who figured out that they could make it into liquid? Like, I have a lot of questions. And that's, and that's what they do with every... <laughs> Damn girl, these cough off the mic. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Sorry, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. No, but yeah, it is true. How many things do we do we do on a regular day that who why did they do that? Like the milk from cows. <laughs> Yeah, who was the first person that walked up to a cow and was like, and you know, it's like, did they did they first put it into a thing or did they? They probably saw it. Be like, what is this? Just sprayed it in their mouth. They're like, hmm. <laughs> People do that with um with liquor in Mexico. They call it fucking, somebody help me with what the fuck they call that. But it's like a thing. They like pour it into, and they'd be like, oh yeah. Like whenever I do farm videos and shit, and they'd be like, oh yeah, we you could do one, you know, whatever the drink is called. But I'm like, Why? There's so many other things I can drink. I can make myself a michelada right now, oh but I'm gonna God. go get the cow's titty and put it with liquor, pajarete, there you go. Cow titty, put it with milk with liquor and drink that shit for what? And they light it on fire or what's that one? There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they have to like do some sort of process to it. Oh my God. But it's like, what? Look at having killed 25 people, pajarete known as a drink of death in Jalisco. Why? Interesting. That's like, what are those things that everybody eats too? Yo, my memory is literally fucking up for all of y'all to, to watch. I'm, I'm, de I'm, de I'm fucking up. Um, what? The things that everybody eats that everybody says is a fucking aphrodisiac. It's in a seafood thing. Lamb? No. Like Oyster? that. Oyster. There you go. Everybody eats oysters. Why? You can eat a whole fish with a face fried lime chile fucking salt bomb ass with rice on the side with salad but you're like no you know what i want to eat this slimy fucking thing that's gonna go down my throat why and i hear you're not even supposed to chew it what's the point you're not but it's like people can die from those look up the fucking numbers people literally can die from raw oysters not being done right or being dirty or having a bacteria so why add that bro you said Spanish coffee. Yeah. They good as fuck. Oysters are... How are they good, bro? They taste like water. They taste like seafood. There's fish. There's squid. There's calamari. There's fish a la plancha with ajo, with chile, all kinds of stuff. Do you like oysters? I don't like seafood. 
Oh, yeah, you don't. Except for, like, ceviche and, like, the basics. But I don't like seafood. Like, I don't like fish. Mm -mm. You know, you're a very supportive friend because when I was sitting here talking about making a pond and killing my own fish so that I can eat, you're like, yeah, and then you could do this and you could do that. <laughs> and yes. then little, little do I know you don't even like seafood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's for you. <laughs> you're like, that's your dream. <laughs> and I'm here to and support, I support it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, if you had a farm, what? Oh, yeah. Approximately 80,000 people get fibrosis and 100 people die from something, that you, some harmful bacteria in oysters. Every year, bro. Every year, in 100 people too. in the United States die and 80,000 people get sick from eating oysters. And everywhere you go, people are like, hmm, let's try this. Why? They're not good. Seafood's booger in a shell. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, swallow a loogie, bro. That's nasty. Flame I mean, roasted garlic I, parmesan oysters. I tried them. Literally, we went to a fucking place because I, I, you know, I wanted to see. I wanted to see, like, if I could do it. If I could do it cooked. They were like, if you try them cooked, it's different. Those are the exact ones I tried. I ate the parmesan on top. And I just <laughs> left the little slimy things. They didn't even charge me for them, honestly. They were like, you didn't like them? I was like, mm, I tried. I tried one. I thought I was going to throw up. And you know what? Here's the thing. If the taste was amazing, I would understand. There's things that I'll risk my fucking life for. But to me, I'm just like, help me understand. What is it? Because it's not the taste. It tastes like regular seawater. Tastes like you just walked up to La Jolla Beach and just... That's what it tastes like. <laughs> Took a breath. <laughs> no calories in that. Yeah. That reminds me of like sunflower seeds. I feel like the inside doesn't really taste like... I like the outside. It's salty yeah. and... It's Whatever. like her with corn nuts. She'll just eat the salt off of it, but she won't bite into corn. a corn nut. Mm -hmm. I bite into half of them. I'd be like, okay, a couple corn nuts. I got this, but like, I can't do it all. So half so of them I do that. Mm -mm. You spit them out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I spit out like half I of them. I just like the flavor. What they should do is add powder in the in middle. That would change the game for everybody. So then the flavor keeps going. I can't stand it that like I would start chewing it and then the, the ranch is gone within the first few seconds. Inject flavor into the middle of the corn yes like a turkey mm -hmm. i know they could do it that's a lot of work for like a treat that's only like two dollars well they would obviously amp it up a little bit that's gonna be the new one why don't they just sell you the flavor in a bottle like this okay now that <laughs> just... would also i wish i could get taki powder like that true i really want taki powder <gasps> let's try to get a job at one of these factories and steal it and steal and well not steal it but you oh. know the little <laughs> leftovers well because i promised god when i was 17 that i would never steal or rob so the secret formula so take it. so we could just get there you know and stick our tongue underneath the fucking conveyor belt <laughs> <laughs> they're like you're fired this is this is an actual sanitary issue well imagine, i don't want to keep the job anyways <laughs> imagine now we're actually getting arrested <laughs> we like, got like, we got hired for a tour <laughs> we're literally Lu lucy and ethel do you remember when that when they were working at the factory bro pull up that video <laughs> no, that sounds funny though they were working at the factory two fucking more that's what i felt like yesterday i felt like we were lucy and ethel <laughs> except for we would have to have our own husbands all I right. wonder if that's what they did back in the day. <gasps> Scandalous. Right. You know how now it's like everybody wants you to be ashamed of being gay. But back in the day, ladies or men, they would just be married, pretend, and then they was like, oh yeah, I'm that gonna go with my compadre, I'm gonna go with my comadre. And it's like, bro, you and your compadre are over there in the fucking back of the fucking <laughs> Tacoma. Wait, what were they driving back in those days? I, I yeah. forgot. Wait, they had the Dachshund. They had those fucking Daxon trucks in Mexico. Wait, it was Datsun with a T, but they would call it La Daxon. Right? <laughs> Look, that'd be us at the corn nuts. <laughs> Listen, Ethel, I, I think this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> At some point she just forgot what she was doing Now she's just putting them back <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Are those donuts? They're chocolate. Yeah, they're supposed to be wrapping chocolates, but they're going so fast. Yeah, they they were going so slow that now they don't want the the chocolates to start stacking up, so now they're hiding them. <laughs> That's funny. That would be us taking the red forty. <laughs> <laughs> the corn up powder and the chili, the fucking Cheetos. Mm-hmm. I've talked to the Cheeto guy that supposedly invented it. The only reason I say supposedly is because I've seen so many TikTok comments now that I go back and forth that I'm like, you know what? <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, this whole thing happened. I hate when I do this with my hands because I really feel like I look like Trump. <laughs> but like allegedly, allegedly, I don't know. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Okay, now you sound like him. <laughs> that is definitely Trump. Right? Such Trump hands, bro. Yeah, just do it. The Trump hands. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love it. Oh no! Now I can never do other motions like this. I don't think it's Trump. <laughs> Just looking kidding. dead. Um, if we had daughters, what would we name them? It'll start. I don't know. Uh, never thought about that. Have you ever thought of a son? Oh, you would name him your name, or are you running away from? I never thought about that either. You've just never thought about having children. In your life Well not names Not Oh Have you thought about it Like is there days That you might be like I don't want any And is there days That you're like Yeah I want some Or do you think Just like You're like I'll get there When I get there Yeah it's 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 never Really like I don't want any Or I do want some But I guess right now Yeah I wouldn't (laughs) That wouldn't really help much What That that would just complicate things Like oh Oh, That's another thing But (laughs) <laughs> You're like, not oh, right no. now <laughs> Great <laughs> No, thank oh, you Oh, fuck <laughs> Nah, but I don't know Yeah, it's just more Just like whenever I guess Whenever it makes sense True. What about y'all? Name them Name them daughters Elvis? Elvis, yeah That's mine I feel like if I had a daughter <laughs> I feel like if I, have a, if I have a daughter, right? Because I'm not carrying I, I've, I know I made up my mind I, I don't know if I want another kid But if I do have another kid I know I'm not carrying a child so I feel like ultimately like the decision is not even really going to be up to me like yes I can vote but I would like to be given uh, like what is that the A, B, and C a multiple choice option (laughs) and then I would like to like help narrow that down but I don't even think I'm not going to lie I didn't have very much say in baby Drew's name like his dad's name's Andrew he was like I want my son to be junior and I was like honestly I don't even really like it's not about what his name is his name's gonna be baby to me forever so cool that's fine right mm-hmm. you did you you came up with your the baby's name so you yeah for me it didn't happen until I found out what the gender was and I was like this is your name but couldn't that name be for a girl too yes Bellamy with the name would it would it mm-hmm. would you have done it or would you have named the girl yeah I really like that name Bellamy and yeah. I was pregnant, so I got attached to it really fast. But now if you had a girl, you obviously wouldn't name it Bellamy. No, it's too close. So then what would you name her? That's hard because I didn't figure it out until I was like pregnant and then like came to me. You got to get the vibe. Mm-hmm. People don't get that. I you do. Wait. I can't. I don't have like ideas. I don't have like a specific name. I it just when it happens, you just wait and you feel it. Yeah. I um, saw Dwayne Wade um, talking about. Wait, that's not his name. Dwayne Wayne. Johnson What's Dwayne his name Wade, yeah. The basketball player The fact that his name Is Dwayne <laughs> No It's the fact that Oh Dwayne Reed I was like in New York There's a store called Dwayne Wade And I'm like Wait it's Dwayne Reed um, Dwayne Wade was talking about His daughter And how When he And a bunch of people A bunch of his uh, Buddies Were gonna have kids They all wanted to Have their sons Playing basketball And obviously You know his daughter Was born um, But then um he was like that's what happens when you make plans for other people and he was like when i met my child and i was like that's such a dope ass for a man to understand that because we know when you meet your kid like when you meet your kid and you realize your kid is a different person your kid is not you your kid is not an extension of you if you think your kid is an extension of you you are literally like yes we can mold them we can shape them we can Mm -hmm. try to do what we can but they're a different human and the people that think that their kid is just an accessory to them is literally the people that fuck up their kids Mm -hmm. so it was so cool to hear a like a grown man talk about that and obviously now that his daughter transitioned and it's like he gets so much shit and he still doubles down on it i'm like that's so dope and that's the way you protect your children and um i don't know hats off to him because i really thought that that was so amazing to say that's what happens when you make plans for other people like it's like me thinking i know what my son's gonna be when he grows up and it's like i yeah, talk no to him clue. all the time i'm asking him what do you like what what moves your spirit what you know what i mean like what what the fuck 
But also, he's still very young, too, so he's still trying to, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to take his so word for it. If he was to be like, I want to be tattooed my whole life, like, I'm not going to go tat him up. But and then, like you said, like, we mold them and we do whatever we do. But, like, you know, yeah. they're going to make their own choices when they get older. Yeah. But we can do our best. Which is the thing about trans youth as well, like, right? Because all the people that are, like, super Republican or, like, whatever the fuck. Okay, let's not say politics, but, like, people that are really against trans children um, or tra- trans people, right? Um they don't understand why people like should be a little bit understanding yes i think i think sometimes things get a little crazy even on the lgbt community i think sometimes y'all tripping sometimes some people and i say y'all because i'm like the ones that are tripping i'm not sure that you're tripping because you're gay i think you're tripping because you just are already a person tripping and you know that just is what it is but i do feel like it is still necessary to make a safe space for children that feel uncomfortable in their bodies and in that and there should be obviously a lot of therapy and like trying to figure out you know get down to it whatever but they're not a, they're not an experiment and they're also not supposed to just be left on their own to be bullied by children much less by grown adults mm-hmm. there's been grown fucking adults that have bullied little kids that are like part of the queer community that like that's so fucked up and they turn it into a po- like in a, into a political stance and it's like it's not like that's a kid that just feels uncomfortable i got made fun of all my life for being a tomboy i got made fun of all my life for 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 liking sports or for dressing a certain way and like that made me a fucking traumatized as person like part of like what is wrong with me now as a grown as adult who quote unquote lives my dream and i'm doing all my shit i still got issues that go back to that so sometimes i think it should be more understood that like making a safe space for kids to be themselves even if it doesn't go with your beliefs and your core but like letting kids you know what i mean we're here to mold them and teach them but we're not here to fuck them up more and bully them you know like but i don't know so shout out Dwayne wade and obviously gabrielle union because they're fucking amazing for that um for making a safe space for their children you know Mm -hmm. and i've I've thought about that too. I've been like, what if, you know, what if my son was this or that, or that, you know, what if they liked something that I don't necessarily think is going to be dope. Even, you know what? What if my son grows up and he wants to be a bum ass dude? <laughs> and I'm like, hold on. That's going to be terrible. I'm like, we got to talk about this. So I've always instilled certain core qualities in <laughs> like him. But at the end of the day, you know, we never know. His mom's biggest dream is to eat whatever I want and not gain weight and just watch movies. So I get it. <laughs> What about you? What about that day I was crying because I was like, did I make you hold a camera? Was it my dream and I just put it onto you? What if you did want to be a math wizard? <laughs> a math wizard. Remember? I and I was know. like, what do you want to be? Anything right now. Anything you want. And you were like, I'm fine. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, obviously kind of makes sense because I'm like figure out how things work. And, you know, that's kind of like what just naturally how my brain works and stuff so i feel like that's probably what whatever you're kind of like good at doing obviously it's better for you to do because it's not a challenge it's not as hard as it is for other people like you rapping i mean you're good at that your brain is just good at that so that's what you do but it doesn't mean yeah it doesn't mean that's what you love doing or what you want to do or what you want to do with your free time yeah but i feel like we're both the same (laughs) like i would love to eat all kinds of food and like just chill and do nothing that'd be our happiest time (laughs) on the ranch when we just be watching a movie and ordering food dude we'd be so happy everybody the pizza was good yesterday baby Uh, it looked good i think you had never seen what movie did we watch i forgot what it was called but i watched it oh yeah i fell asleep immediately the whole thing what movie was it it had fucking um it was that one movie where Veronica had a very funny joke. <laughs> That's what you remember? Yeah, that doesn't that tell was, me anything about that. That was the from movie. the TikTok. It was a TikTok. Oh! <laughs> remember? Anchorman. Yeah, there you go. I'm dead. The first one or the second one? The first one. <laughs> I'd never seen it. And he was like, yeah. That's so funny. They said me dying because I was like, there's the TikTok. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, Math Wizard. Oh, that's your favorite treadmill talks? Yeah, because I've always wondered what Iroku would have done had I not been in his life. Like, he probably could have been a completely different person. He wanted to be a Math Wizard. No. You were just asking me what I'm, like, good at in school or something, right? Or something. Well, because mommy kicked me out early in my life. 
with Ido, he was already getting up there in high school. And I was like, you know, mommy, you know, she like, uh, like abruptly <laughs> is going to throw life at you. So what do you want to do? And he was just like, I don't know. And I was like, well, what do you like? And he was like, math. And I was like, you're going to be a math wizard? <laughs> so that was my Let's idea. Do it now. <laughs> I was like, cool. Did you know I had already bought my, my wizard hat? Your hat? And everything. Imagine. Like Mickey Mouse, bro. Like Mickey one, Mouse with a hat? One day you just find my math wizard hat. You're like, no. I crushed his dreams. <laughs> you write on the hat. You're like, could never be. <laughs> <laughs> my cape, I burned it that night. My, my wand. <laughs> Right, <laughs> I did find a wand. What the heck? I did, but that was—I think that was Baby Drew's ma- magician wand. Which you know, what if he wanted to be a magician? Oh yeah, when he was talking about DVDs. DVDs, yeah. DVDs. I don't know. I don't know. I also think people are very well-rounded. Like you do makeup, but I'm sure that's not all. Like if people were like, "You only do makeup," you're gonna be like, "Whoa, <laughs> I do a lot, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> right? You're like I like I do pinatas pijama- p- as well, mm-hmm. and smoke, yeah. and. All kinds of arts and crafts, and you throw great parties. The mm-hmm. the the I've seen the pictures that you take of your son. Mm-hmm. Awesome! I'm really excited for the Halloween one. Oh, you're gonna do one? Mm, that one's gonna be fun. They're gonna love that one. Baby doesn't really like Halloween though. We've gone to Spirit Halloween and he hates it. He does Aww. not like it, so I can't take him. Anytime I go to Spirit Halloween, I have to leave him. See, yeah. we're different people. You love Halloween and getting dressed up and doing all that. Baby is scared. Mm-hmm. He likes like. He loves trick or treating. Like he's down for that, but he just doesn't like the those big ass things, those big ass machines that come at you. And they're like, ah, he's like, no, yeah. And then I don't like traumatizing him. So I've yeah. tried every year taking him, but it hasn't worked out. So we're still waiting. Yeah. Well, that's like me with um, baby Drew. Like I loved soccer, and I think because he's going to be a little bit on the shorter side, he's actually the perfect body type for soccer. And I'm like, dude, you would kill it in soccer. And he just doesn't like it. He's like, I don't like it. I'm like, damn. He's like, I'm going to be a football player. I'm like, baby, <laughs> I don't want to crush your dreams, but. That may not happen. <laughs> I mean, it's probably because soccer players just don't really seem cool. <laughs> what do you like mean soccer players aren't cool? There's plenty cool soccer players. I think you guys are just more like, Americanized than that. Yeah. Well, I guess to to us. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't seem to us. It doesn't seem cool to us. Like, that's what. But also, I mean, the sport itself is not very eventful. What? (laughs) It literally is. I feel like soccer is constantly going back and forth, back and forth. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that can happen. Football is like, we got one inch, guys. We got another inch, guys. Whoa, we went backwards, guys. Like, what the fuck? You like not everybody's doing something. It's like it's got to keep on. Mind you, I'm a Raider fan. And I do like playing football. I just feel like sometimes watching football, I'm like, God damn. Except for this game where they scored 70 fucking points. I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. When I turned it back on, because I had been watching that game towards the beginning. And then when I went, like brought it back up, I, it was like 60, uh, 64. And they were literally scoring. Like it was another play where they were scoring. I was like, what? 70 points? I never seen that. It's so crazy. <laughs> But the coach didn't want to set the record and That's go for dumb. 73. I now, but today though, I looked it up. He's from Colorado, and his first job uh, was a ball boy for the Broncos, and then he worked with the Broncos for kind of a while. So I feel like he's he grew up a Broncos fan. So maybe he just kind of didn't want to. <laughs> set the record. But at that point, the Broncos, it's his shady. favorite team. At that point. Is he a good, like, because he's not giving a fuck about his team as much as he's giving a fuck about his own personal feelings mm-hmm. from growing up. Well, that's not that's what That's fucked said, up. But... Yeah, but if I was his players, I'd be like, bro, we could have been, we could have set a, a, a fucking record. And you are preventing it from happening because you're fucking feelings as a little boy, you weirdo. <laughs> well, I think it was also, I mean, most of the time, teams don't even get to 70 or even into the 60s because teams they don't want to embarrass the other team like that's just like a general thing like once you're up by like 40, what team was it that did this the dolphins and what have they done since dan marino <laughs> well yeah they didn't even win a super bowl with dan marino that's why that's what i'm saying so it's like bro y'all 
y'all's most famous thing y'all did was be in fucking uh, Ace Ventura pet detective and have a doll famous dolphin and have it Dan Marino y'all could have broke a fucking record but because your coach don't want to embarrass the other coach because of his childhood fucking ball boy dreams shouts out Adam Sandler or Waterboy um he didn't let y'all do that shit like I would be pissed off yeah I mean that's what the the announcers were saying during the game do you get a medal like, huh do you get a medal for breaking a record or something I don't think so but your names I mean you you but are yeah, a you record still be re- holder remembered for long time is like socialism the I'm just joking <laughs> just start throwing and, and you know what I was thinking was like that would have been good if they set the record too because the team that holds the record was the is the Washington Redskins or was the Washington Washington Facts Redskins. now it's racist that he didn't do it yeah it's cause like, okay woke Xana said hear me out it might have been good sportsmanship bro Good sportsmanship would have been fifth at 50 points, okay? You still did it. You still got all the way to 70. And you just needed three more points to get the record. Or, you know, four, whatever. Three? Yeah. you. That's all you needed. Plus, you would have beat out a team that is no longer called the Redskins because they were a racist name. So now, take them out of all the fucking record, record hold, holding things. I like how my brother knows what I'm thinking and he's like, you're <laughs> slow. Um, you know what I mean? Like, do something like that. Because I get it on good sportsmanship, but bro, at 70 points, you're still not a good sport. <laughs> you fucked that shit up. So now it's like, it's like you're too, you, you're so close. You know the rule I have around here with my business, especially <laughs> and with the ranch. I'm like, bro, if we are 90% there, give me that last 10%. I used to, when we used to do merch and stuff like um, with the t- tissue and the tags and everything i used to go so hard for it and i used to want to do that and then somebody will slap on a sticker crooked i'm like bro we did all this just for you to put on the sticker crooked and with a wrinkle what the fuck now we got to give you guys another 80 percent because <laughs> but i'm just saying if you already that close just do it you know mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> and are you a team fan of something not really oh Mm-mm. No, no sports. If there was a sport you would like any, what would you like? To watch or to play? Volleyball. That's fun. You, yeah, you look like you would play volleyball. That's fun. Yeah. Pretty good. You're good at volleyball? Mm hmm. There you go. So you don't like running and shit, but you like bouncing up and down? <laughs> Show do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we just transition? <laughs> Not the Dolphins ending the record. I'm dead. Yeah, what did the Dolphins do? Wait, so they didn't win a Super Bowl? I feel like the Dolphins... They have won a Super Bowl, but I think it was like in the 70s or something. My dad was a Dolphins fan for no reason. He doesn't even like football, but he's like, but if I was to like a team, I would like the Dolphins. I was like, well, my mom's name was Delfina. Maybe he mm. thought she was there. Romantic. I don't know. Or maybe it was, was it, it in the 90s? Yeah, it was around the Dan, Dan Marino. Marino. Yeah. yeah. They were good. I realized that the only reason I, I started liking the Raiders, which I don't want it to ruin our legacy of Raiders, but is because Yeo's dad had a lit ass Raider jacket and he had a cool Jerry Curl mullet. And I was like, yo, that guy looks cool. And he wore Cortez. And I was like, that guy's cool. And I was like, I want to be a fan of that team. And then my tío Roberto had the same thing. Well, he didn't have a Jerry Curl. He had straight hair, but he had a mullet. And uh, I guess like Easy e the Easy e look was dope and i was like nice and then i passed it on to you who is a super big raider fan mm-hmm. and um I'm, I'm happy but my 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 son's ending that because he's a ravens fan Dang. like so close raiders ravens why but no why not just, <laughs> right why not just be a raiders fan it's so random too like ravens like De- or detroit i mean baltimore like that's the most random. but it's really because of lamar jackson so We'll see what happens when Lamar Jackson go somewhere else. Career ends, or he goes somewhere else. Comes to the Raiders, or he keeps on playing bad. They they played bad this weekend. He lost them the game. Lamar Jackson specifically. Well, yeah, he took a sack. I'm gonna go bully my son. <laughs> he took. A you sack. see? <laughs> yeah, he got sacked when when they were like close enough to kick a field goal, but then he took a sack, so they were further, and uh, they they didn't get the field goal, so then they went to overtime and lost. Damn. But something the Dolphins do do have is the only team to have a perfect season, 17-0. and 0, And then they went on to win the Super Bowl. Oh, wow. 1972? Yeah. It's been like 50 years, buds. You guys got to get it. <laughs> <laughs> get back in that record. <laughs> what do y'all do? Oh, and they won the Super Bowl against the Redskins. 
Okay, you could have fucking set the record. Yeah. Dolphins are cool animals. They're a little, you know, they're, they're very a little cute. problematic. I th- I think they're nice though. They I'm are, but they do it. They do what? They like do it. Like like one of them had a girlfriend. Like she was a human. Really oh, weird. Yeah. Remember that? Well, there was a science experiment. Smart. They gave them LSD to figure out how how smart they were, and all they ended up doing was <laughs> trying to do that. He was like, "What? Wait, what happened? It was like." It was a story about a dolphin, and it was, yeah, I forgot. I don't. I'm not gonna say it right, so I'll, we'll say it on another podcast. Mm-hmm. Plus, I was, I was, I was actually disassociating for a second and realizing that we have Latina here and we could talk about anything. And we're like, let's talk sports that she does not <laughs> like. <laughs> we're like, let's talk about football. She's like, love it. This is great. I'll become whatever team you want. <laughs> Somebody said, let's not bring up the Broncos game, please. Oh, you're a Broncos fan. Yeah, I'm sure you have a lot of Broncos fan fans. Oh, yeah, because I have a lot of Denver fans. I'm sorry to you guys. I'm sorry <laughs> to that man. <laughs> but but also Cole, she chose... Remember, she was a Broncos fan, and she, she had to become a Raider fan, and she chose in the right time because the Broncos got embarrassed. But the Raiders have not won, so... <laughs> Since beating the Broncos, and we won, and we beat them by one point. Yeah, so the Raiders... So, yeah. yeah, it kind of doesn't help our our uh win look good it's like we beat the broncos yeah they just got freaking beat beat 70 to 20 yeah so we're in the same place guys truce (laughs) i call a truce between us cheers to us i should have strong dolphins mess with puffer fish to get high that's what i'm saying dolphins are humans bro (laughs) <laughs> Dolphins are like We're gonna get high That's We're crazy. gonna fuck <laughs> We're gonna fucking party <laughs> We're gonna flip out the water They don't go against humans huh I mean Oh my Has god I just realized I had a human? dolphin in my dream Why It was coming near me I felt it I remember That's weird it Had to have happened last night Or the night before But I know that it was a it was a dream that just happened, and it was a dolphin coming towards me. Did I know we were going to talk about the dolphins or something? There was a dolphin coming towards me, and I, like, felt it. Like, as it was kind of going past me, I went like this. Your dreams are always messages. I think my dreams are telling me to go help the dolphins so that they can win. <laughs> save the dolphins. <laughs> save the dolphins. Save the team from the dolphins. No, um, I don't know. Yeah, they're even gay. There's even gay dolphins. That's cool. But there's gay all over... The, the animal kingdom and mm-hmm. then there's also like you know gender neutral or like you know different it, it exists that's why it's weird when people talk about how like that's not natural and it's like it really much is like it's part of nature yeah there's like frogs that they don't need a man and they just decide to impregnate each other <laughs> they're like we're lesbians now and we have babies <laughs> go ahead frogs do your thing more gay dolphins observed off the coast of western australia that's just funny because I they're listening I, to fucking house music. <laughs> I imagine like them with like binoculars, and then they see the dolphins and they do something gay, and they're like, "That was gay." <laughs> <laughs> they take off the glasses. They're like, "I can't watch that." <laughs> that was a little too wild. But yeah. How do they know if they're girls or boys though? I know from far. <laughs> How do they know? They're like they were listening to Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Yeah, it is natural. It just happens. Um, Mm -hmm. Because, like, we were talking about the soul and where the soul is. Like, imagine if it is in the spinal cord. Your soul? Yeah, that one guy. The fucking buttered sausage guy. What's his name? Your soul's all over your body, I feel. He said it was in your spinal cord, and it kind of makes sense. Because if you transfer... They just transferred a, a pig heart into a human, right? And... They've transferred, you know, certain body parts into another human. I guess it could be in, in your whole... That's what we talked about that day, right? That I guess it could be in your whole th- in your whole body because that guy that got his heart, was it, transferred into another human? And then he killed himself the same way that the other guy killed himself? He went and married. Yo, my brain's not working today. I need coffee. Yeah. <laughs> no, but really, look that up. A guy killed himself with a rifle in his mouth traumatic sorry trigger warning um and then he his heart was trans was uh transferred into another fucking person that guy goes marries his old wife and then kills himself the same exact way so the heart is still wanted what it wanted marries what? who to traumatize the lady 
Because why marry her and then kill yourself in front of her too? I mean, like, I mean well, also the lady should have stayed away. Wait, did he marry the same lady? Yes. Oh my god! Like he reached out on some like thank you. You know, I'm I'm sure like donor people always keep in touch with whoever has the, Mm-mm. you know. So yeah, they end up marrying and then he ends up killing himself. Them end up like somehow connecting and marrying is kind of normal. Him <sighs> eventually killing himself the same way the other guy did. At that point, it's like, bro. I mean, it was it was obvious from the beginning that that heart still was gonna go the same way. The heart was functioning the same way. So then where's our depression? Is it in our heart or is it in our head? It's in our heart. Our mind just fucks it up even more. It just adds to it because we overthink. So where's our whole, where's our soul? It's all over. Like maybe the lady was the issue, not the husband. Oh my God. (laughs) Not the husband or his organs. (laughs) Damn. (laughs) We're blaming the woman. No. Um, It's hard because I could understand why she probably ended up doing that because she probably felt close to him you know in a sense because that man had his heart but that's very sad his heart was in the wrong place (laughs) 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 that's that's traumatizing to think about this early in the fucking daytime (laughs) i'm like oh my god hey but something earlier y'all were talking about was the whales i looked up um how much a whale is worth it says about two million dollars shut the fuck up yeah but it says throughout its lifetime so i don't understand what that means like what are you using it for it's blubber well that one whale that they use it's um what is it poop or something what what do they use of that and it's for perfumes what the all right (laughs) they not i don't think it says poop sorry Imagine, imagine with my with my brain, I go out there and I'm like, guys, we can we can really sell we this for a long time. <laughs> Everyone's like, that's the wrong thing, idiot. No. Amber driss, amber gris, mm-hmm. amber whale vomit, whale vomit. There you go. Oh, I was I was gonna take the whole wrong part, <laughs> wrong end. Whale vomit. It's sold for how much? Used as a base note in perfumes, and it makes sense last longer. Yeah, it's gonna the vomit's gonna last real long. I don't know, Amber Chris Price. Um Oh shit! You gotta go. What time is it? Twelve thirty nine. Girl <laughs> Okay, it was Oh my god, we're just sitting here chilling, having yeah. a blast. Like two hundred thousand dollars per How kilo. far is it? Uh we you might barely make it. Cause it Alright, y'all. Girl. <laughs> Alright, right, we'll say goodbye. Oh my gosh. Alright, we gotta hurry up. You know, you good to drive, right? I mean you yeah, didn't drink. Let's go. Okay, cool, Bye, let's guys. go. Alright guys, sorry, yeah, we're sorry. We'll continue at some point. We love y'all. Bye. Girl. I'm the shit, huh? Are you catching what I'm going for? I pick up. Same bitch I always was, now I'm just richer. I'm about to shake it up and check the Richter. This a sticker. 